Serbia has put troops on high alert over rising tensions with Kosovo. Now, this comes after weeks of escalating rhetoric between Belgrade and Pristina. We saw new roadblocks appearing on Tuesday in the majority Serb town of North Mitrovica. Kosovo is a small landlocked country, which many Serbs consider the birthplace of their nation. And that is despite out of the 1.8 million people who live there, only 6% are Serbian, 92% are Albanian. In 2008, Kosovo unilaterally declared independence from Serbia. Many countries, including Russia and China, do not recognize it. This latest flare-up in tensions follows conflicting reports about a shooting incident in which no one was hurt. But reports from Belgrade allege ethnic Serbs came under attack. The claim was rejected by authorities so in Pristina. So let's take you to our BBC Serbian correspondent Alexander Mladenovic, who joins us now from Belgrade. Thanks so much for joining us. Over the recent years, flare-ups have been incredibly common. This is being described, though, as a particularly tense situation, the worst we've seen in a while. Why is that? This is actually the seventh time the Serbian Armed Forces has gone into the state of combat readiness, as it was explained by the authorities. It was the seventh time in five years that we have seen uh, this state of uh, Serbian army and police. It has never led further than this. So uh, we have seen situations that are similar like this. Um, and it's always uh, the reason for, for getting uh, the armed forces into state uh, of combat readiness is the reason to protect uh, the Serbian minority uh, in Kosovo, as the officials in Belgrade uh, explain. On the other side, the officials of Kosovo uh, say that they're not responsible for raising tensions, that it's actually local criminals and gangs in the north of Kosovo who run the barricades and who uh, raise the tensions that are supported by the officials in Belgrade. Alexander, more particularly, what do authorities in Belgrade think the biggest threat is? Is there a concern about a possible violent confrontation of some sort? This was a year of uh, very uh, flared-up rhetorics between Belgrade and Pristina, between Serbia and Kosovo. There were many issues that were opened during this year from uh, ID cards, license plates, and minority rights. Uh, Belgrade claims that the minority rights of Serbs, uh, especially in the north of Kosovo, are threatened, uh, that uh, they are not allowed to uh, organize themselves and publicly uh, express and choose uh, their representatives, while on the other side, the authorities of Kosovo claim uh, that uh, the highest standards in minority rights are implemented uh, in Kosovo and uh, rate this as the Belgrade game to cause instability uh, in uh, the country that Belgrade does not officially recognize as independent. Is there any influence on what is happening there as a result of Russia's actions in Ukraine? We have seen a very extended presence of international forces on the ground, K4, uh, the NATO-led mission uh, that is there to preserve peace, uh, is uh, circulating around Kosovo and is actually uh, being responsible for the security side. On the other side, uh, Kosovo authorities have accused Belgrade of siding with Russia in uh, the war uh, in Ukraine and that uh, Belgrade is officially using the same methods uh, that Russia was using uh, in Ukraine in the previous years. Uh, the officials of Serbia deny that uh, and they claim that they're only protecting the rights of Serbian minority. Alexander, how likely is it that there could be a solution found to kind of diffuse some of this tension, given how bad relations are between Belgrade and Pristina? Apart from the tensions this year, we have seen also several meetings between the political leaderships of Serbia and Kosovo, organized in Brussels uh, in a EU-led dialogue. However, those uh, meetings were mostly focused on resolving current issues and uh, basically putting down fires that were uh, already open. However, in the second half of uh, 2022, uh, we have seen a EU proposal uh, which, is, uh, which details are uh, still uh, unknown and that should lead to uh, as it said, full normalization of Kosovo-Serbia relations uh, next year. However, uh, with the tensions on the ground, it is not clear how far or how close we are to uh, any of that deal. Alexander, thank you for joining us from Belgrade.